Hi, my name is Chris. We're here at SEMA at the Royal Purple Booth, and today I'm going to offer or answer some questions about motor oil that uh, it's kind of general knowledge, but there's not a lot of good information out there about. First, what do the numbers mean on the bottle? Typically, you'll see a number and then a W and then another number. The last number is what I consider the major grade. That is either the 30 or 40 or 50 weight that you're used to seeing. And it kind of quantifies the viscosity of the oil at engine operating temperature, which is typically around 100 degrees Celsius, 210 degrees Fahrenheit. The number at the beginning with the W is what's called the winter grade and it's not really related to the second number much at all. What it does do is gives you an indication of how well the oil flows when it's cold. So instead of at engine operating temperature, we're concerned with cold start. Just know that the smaller the number, the better it flows when the oil is cold. So a 5W is going to have better cold flow than a 10W or a 15W. Another thing people ask is about extended oil changes. Are they okay? Should you do it? Is it dangerous? It really depends on the oil you're using and how you use the vehicle. If you've got a factory stock vehicle that's in good condition, good operating condition, and you're using a very high quality oil, typically extending your interval is, is very safe. I would look for an oil that does recommend that you can use extended intervals with their product. Typically, you're going to be using a, a quality synthetic or a very good blend in order to achieve that. But the old 3,000 miles or three months is very outdated. And even if you were to look in your owner's manual, you would see that typically a common oil change interval for new cars is gonna be between five and 7,000 miles. Sometimes you'll see 10,000 on European vehicles that carry a lot of oil, or up to 15,000 on diesel pickup trucks that carry a lot of engine oil. All right, now talking about viscosity, you may have noticed that the numbers that are on the front of the bottle continue to get smaller with new cars. Very commonly through the 70s, 80s, and even the early 90s, a 10W30 or 5W30 was pretty much the most common viscosity grade recommendation for cars that were sold in the US. Now, 5W20, 0W20, and even some Toyotas are recommending a 0W16. Those numbers, as they're getting smaller are, are representing the oil viscosity getting lighter and lighter or thinner. And the reason this is being done is to try to gain a fractional amount of fuel economy to try to meet the ever increasing cafe standards that auto manufacturers have to meet. What should you use for uh, a car that is no longer stock or is a dual use track street car or heavily modified, a lot of times it's going to be beneficial to go to a heavier oil if your car originally specified something like a 5W20 or 0W20. The reason being is as lubricants, including engine oils, get hotter and hotter, they continue to thin out. When they get cold, they thicken. When they get hot, they thin. When a vehicle is putting out more power, either because of modification or because it's being used more severely like at a track, the engine is going to typically run hotter for longer. The oil, therefore, is going to be hotter for longer. The ideal operating condition for both uh, fuel economy and oil temperature is steady state on the highway. Everything's nice and happy and relatively cool. But once you start getting into a lot of throttle and a lot of throttle changes, you have a lot more heat that's being generated. So. For those modified vehicles or vehicles that are used in that more severe fashion, typically going up a viscosity grade from a 20 to a 30 or maybe from a 30 to a 40, like a 10W40 may be beneficial because that oil is going to be operating at a higher temperature, therefore it will be thinner than it would be in just typical street use. Uh, disadvantage, uh, the primary one that may happen is maybe a slight reduction in fuel economy. If you live in a cold climate, going to a heavier oil may cause slightly more difficult cold start. Usually don't perceive it, but technically the oil is not as flowing as well as it would when it's thicker and it's cold. So, eh, technically the lubrication, the lubricity of the oil is a little bit lower, but just because it's thicker and it's not traveling as easily as it, it might want to. All right, it was a pleasure uh, answering these questions today. Like I said earlier, these are kind of general knowledge questions about lubricants, but there's not a lot of good, widely available information. So it was nice to be able to share that with you. We appreciate you coming by the booth. And if you'd like more information on the quality lubricants that we offer, go to royalpurple.com.